Hi everyone, my name is Linda. Welcome to my channel called Linda Savings. In today's video, I'm going to show you the latest arrivals for the month of March at your favorite Costco store. I found a lot of new products in the store, including blenders, the marble mortar and pestle, cooling fans, skincare, and much more. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. You can find me at Costco this week. The link will be in the part of the video description. And now, same as always, please don't forget to like and subscribe and let's do this all right guys so let's start today's video here in the kitchenware section if you guys remember last time i was at costco i spotted this ninja system that was very similar to this one at a clearance price and now i totally understand why this one right here is a new arrival at costco it's called the ninja deluxe kitchen system very similar to the previous version but i did notice even like the pictures at 88 ounces the food processor i believe is also bigger at nine cups this one easily mixes like around 2.5 pounds of dough so i thought this one was perfect for like bigger families and uh, let's check out the price here for this one it's priced at 160 dollars again for the ninja brand personally i have used a lot of ninja products and i'm a big fan of them i do like them it reminds me a lot of like the uh, the Magic Bullet too, um, but it seems like it's a little bit more innovative. It has a couple of different um, functions. You can select like smoothie. You can make soups on it. It seems like it has the same functions as your previous model, but this one's geared for more bigger families. Here is a new Nutribullet that just arrived to Costco. This one's called the Ultra The Next Generation. I love using Nutribullet for several things. I have one at home, but not specifically this model. Mine's a much older model. This one's priced at $120. I was trying to compare, you know, like for example, the one I have at home to this one. And this one's supposed to be a little quieter. It has 1,200 watts in motor base. It also comes with the um, two 32 ounce cups. You have three to-go lids included in here. And the look is definitely a little bit more stainless steel. The one I have looks, looks a little bit more plasticky, but again, it is a much older model. I was also reading that this one's supposed to be quieter when you blend. And I personally love to use mine on a daily basis. I love to make soups on it. Sometimes if I'm just making a smoothie for myself, this is a little bit more convenient for me to blend compared to like my Vitamix. So I think it just comes down to how many people are in your household. But I'm excited for this one. I cannot wait to try it. And finally, the mortar and pestle is back at Costco. This one's from the brand Casa Maria and it's of 8.5 inches. It is made of marble and I was reading it as dual sided. So on one side you can make like guacamole and salsas. On the other side, you can um, mix your herbs um, or spices. This one's priced at $20. Lucky for us, they did have it on display here. And so this is what it looks like. I really like the material, but you do have to pre-season this. So it's something to just keep in mind. I did notice on YouTube, tons of people have uploaded um, different videos in terms of how to pre-season it um, before your first use. So you can always look there for further information. But guacamole on this thing tastes super amazing. I've heard such great things about the Tefal brand and I remember my parents like used to buy only Tefal like years ago. This is their ceramic non-stick 10 piece set and here's everything that it comes with. You have a covered Dutch oven, a couple different saucepans, you have the covered uh, deep saute pan, a fry pan, um, actually two of those and it, it is available in two different colors by the way. So this one's priced at $150. These pieces are oven safe as well up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. This one right here is the little Dutch oven. It's of a perfect size if you want to make like pastas or anything like that in bulk. Um, this one's also really nice too for oatmeal. That's the white one. And this one right here, it's the blue. Um, the blue also that they have in terms of the 10 piece sets. It's also of a really pretty blue too, I would say. This is the bigger fry pan. And then back there, you can see one of the saucepans for the blue set. So again, two different colors you can choose from. This is the Olympia folding shopping card and I do like that they have it out on display. It looks really nice. I like the color combinations. I do notice it has this little lid right here that you can just kind of pull out um, and put that on there if you need to. So there's no risk of you losing the cover. Um, here's a little button. This thing glides up and down super easily. It's also very easy to maneuver. And then I did notice it has um, four wheels and it has two brakes uh, on the back only. So this one's currently priced at pretty much $30. Um, it does have a weight capacity of up to 165 pounds. And there you have the measurements for it as well. 
In my last clearance video, I totally understand now why I was able to find one of those all-in-one trimmers at a clearance price. It seems like this is their newer edition and it's from the brand Philips. So this one's priced at $60. It's pretty much for like your face, beard, and then also body. I do notice it has different attachments. The other one had 18 attachments. This one has 24 in total. So there you can see all the details regarding the attachments and also some of the accessories that it comes with. We're starting to see also new arrivals when it comes to fans at Costco. This one right here is from the brand OmniBreeze and at this Costco I spotted it going for $35. It does come with a 12 hour timer and it says it's also Wi-Fi compatible and from what I saw on the, um, the little cardboard here is that if you connect it to like Wi-Fi you can actually use your phone as a remote control but I do believe the remote control is also included um, in this box too. So you have four different um, speeds to choose from or four different breeze modes and so here it is so this is what it looks like. It's a very stylish fan I will say. The one I have, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's from the same brand, but I bought it last year and it's fully black. There's no um, white to it, but I do think this one's a little bit more stylish. Here is another new arrival. This one right here is called the Windstorm and it's from the Lasco brand. It's an 18 inch pedestal fan and this one's currently priced at $45. I do notice it has a 12 hour timer. And then it also comes with its own remote control. You also have four different fan speeds to choose from. And then you can also adjust the height of this fan. So like I mentioned previously, I personally use the tower fan, but I personally never had one of these pedestal fans. So I'm curious to know which one is a little bit more um, powerful. I'm currently searching for one for my garage. It does tend to get a little hot in there, so I might need another fan. So let me know if there's one specifically one that you recommend. Feel free to share the comment section down below. These ladies' fedora hats are super cute. They're super stylish too. I do like that it comes with the UPF included of 50 plus, and they're very stylish. They're meant for both men and women. Has a little black band. And these are priced at $15. I know last time I was at Costco, I did see them going for like close to $25, even $30. So I think $15 is a really good price. I'm not sure if these will be on sale anytime soon, but I do think this original price is pretty good already. It's made with recycled polyester. And then you can also adjust the sizing on the inside of the hat. I'm assuming there's a little adjustable band there um, where you can kind of customize it to the size of your own head. But these are very stylish and very cute and the material seems very durable as well. I'm so excited to see the Outshine Fruit Bars back at Costco. You have four different flavors, strawberry, grape, pineapple, which is probably one of my favorites, and then the lime. These are currently priced at $12. But keep in mind that these usually do go on sale either through the instant savings or the hot buys. You get 24 bars in each box and so you pretty much get 6 of each flavor. Here are the nutrition facts information but if you do notice it says the serving size is of 2 bars. So you can actually cut these nutrition facts in half. Um, there it has the total amount of sugars. Um, there seems pretty high 20 to 37 grams but again that would be the amount of sugar for 2 bars. I just spotted a new flavor when it comes to these pupusas. These are from the Del Real Foods brand and these are called queso con raja. So it's basically like Monterey Jack cheese and then also green chile. These are priced at $12.69 for 51 ounces. And I've tried several of their flavors. I did try the birria with queso one. Those were okay. I tried their original cheese and beans ones. I, they were okay. I don't think they were like the best pupusas I've ever had. But I'm curious to try these, so let me know if anyone's had them, let me know if you like them, and if you recommend them. The macaroons are also back at Costco. This time around they have chocolate, vanilla, raspberry, lemon, salted caramel, which is a new one, and then pistachio. I believe it's the same brand as last time. $14.49 would be the current price. It's another item that typically goes on sale as well. Um, here are the nutrition facts information, 120 calories, well actually anywhere between 90 to 120 calories um, for two macarons depending on the flavor. Here you have a list of the ingredients as well. I'm not going to lie, the first time I saw this Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence Kit, 
at first I was like, what is this? And I had to go onto Amazon and I looked it up and I didn't know, but this product has amazing reviews. So this package seems like it's a really good deal because you're getting two bottles of the Power Essence and then two smaller bottles of the All-in-One Cream. I've Again, I read really good reviews about it, so I'm hoping to try it. Let's check out the price here at Costco since it is a bundle. For this one, it's priced at $38. If I'm not mistaken, on um, Amazon.com, I saw just the um, Essence at $20 for one bottle. So you're getting a lot more here, um, definitely for the money. This one's suitable for dry skin. I also read that it's perfect for those with sensitive skin too. Here is another new arrival from the Strivectin brand. This one's called Tightening Around the Eyes, and it's perfect for the under eyes, eyelids, um, and so here's the price. This one's priced at $59. I do like that it comes with this little metal applicator at the end of the little bottle that's supposed to provide like a very instant cooling effect. So I thought that was a really nice addition to this product. I've tried a couple of their products and so far I'm impressed. The last time I had an eye cream that I tried, it was the um, Olay one. I liked it. It provides a lot of hydration, but I'm looking forward to trying a different one. Let me know if anyone's tried this eye serum and if you liked it and if you recommend it. I also found a couple of Legos that are super interesting for anyone who is a Lego fanatic. This one right here is a bouquet of roses. The last time I spotted this product, I still remember it was like during Valentine's Day and I always said I thought this would be so romantic if someone were to like build this thing for their loved one and then, you know, kind of Put a little card right next to it or maybe like a home cooked meal super cute you can actually build the stems too and customize those depending on the length that you need for your flower vase but this is super creative here's another lego and this one is perfect for all plant lovers and lego lovers of course these are called the tiny plants one it's a botanical collection it has a total of 758 pieces and it's priced at $37. I still can't decide which one's my favorite, whether it's this plant one or the roses one. Both of them are super cute. Let me know what you think. And that is all that I have for today. Remember to turn on your notification button to know when I have uploaded a new video. See you guys next time.